Hi everybody, I'm back and um, the lighting's a little bit strange again today, so I'm going to be doing a quick, or as quick as I can, Lush review for my new subscribers. Um, I know a lot of my old subscribers have seen as much Lush, all the Lush I have. I pretty much have every item that Lush carries. I'm not kidding you. I was going through their catalog just a minute ago to place another order and it's pretty hard. There's about 10 items that I can order. Everything else I already have. So let's get going. This is insane. I have boxes and boxes and boxes. So I pretty much have to show you the item, throw it on the floor, and I'll have to pick it up later. So let's get going. So first we've got the wands. We've got the daisy, the butterfly, and the tulip. These smell fabulous. These are from the Mother's Day collection. These are limited edition. Don't carry them anymore. Love them. Fabulous. Here's the Space Girl. This one they carry. I have several of these. There's a couple. I usually have, I think I usually have about two or three of each one. I gave one or two to my mom a couple days ago. Have you ever seen a comforter this big? This thing is, this sucker is huge. Now this is a the comforter. Um, it's blackberry, currant, and raspberry. It smells fabulous. And it was sitting next to a, have you ever seen a white blue skies and fluffy clouds? No, I need to use this one. It says blue skies on the back, but it's no longer blue. But it still smells like patchouli, so... I think I'll use it tonight because this one's just about done. I think I'm going to put it up here. Okay, then I have got one, two. Okay, let's do this one. Here's the bright side. This one smells fabulous. There's the back label, the bright side. And this was like an Easter edition. I don't think they carry these anymore. It smells so orangey. Oh my gosh. It just smells fabulous. It smells like orange. And it's probably mixing with the other fragrances because I have it in one of these tins for the moment. For the moment. Now I have this. I've never tried this. This is Happy Blooming. I, I ordered this. And it, you can break it off into threes. And I've heard these are wonderful. They're bath melt. And they smell like cherries. You can see how it's kind of quartered off. And I just thought it was really, really, really cute. So there's that. Happy Blooming. There's a mumpkin. This one came broken. I didn't want to make a big deal about it. Um, so you have to mail them back, and then they, it's just, you have to make, it's a big hassle. You have to take a picture, you have to mail them back, and it's not like it used to be. So yeah, the little thing broke off of it. So it's going to go in the tub anyway. But there's the mumpkin. Here's the sunny side. I just love it. Somebody said you could rub it on your pants and get glitter on your jeans. I tried it. It didn't work. But this is a, more of a Christmas item. But they do carry it you know, all year round, I think. So, yeah, there's that. There's a Ma Bar. I wrapped it in a plastic so it stays fresher. I usually take the brown sugar out of it because it just kind of seems a little bit gross. For the, This turns the water brown. It's really soft. You can almost put your hands through it. This is a bubble bar, but it just seems gross to have a chunk of brown sugar floating in your bathtub. Here is the, I love this, this is the Secret Garden. It's so cute. Now this side is a little bit bleached out because I had it sitting in the sun. The other side you can see is darker, so I need to use this one up soon. Secret Garden. Smells fabulous. Smells just like baby powder. Okay, and this was turned. Uh, the movers left this in the truck too long. I was going to move all my Lush. I had the whole back seat of my car filled with Lush. I said, do not touch my bath products. Well, one of the boxes got moved, and it was huge. And this one got left out in the sun too long, and the back of it turned brown. This is the X Factor, and it's a bath salt. I've never tried it before, but I just thought it was really cute, so I ordered it. So I need to use this one up soon. I will put that up there with the white um, blue skies and fluffy clouds because obviously they don't, they are not white. They're not supposed to be white. Here is a bathos. Bathos. This is a bubble bar. 
Smells fabulous. Really good. Temple of Truth. Now a lot of people have asked me what this smells like, and it's, to me it smells like powder. Yeah, it just smells like baby powder. So there's that. Ooh, a hair gross. You guys are not going to believe this. There's one, two, three, four. Ooh, caught that. Good catch. One, two, three, four. These are four um, Christmas Eve bubble bars. Isn't that crazy? Each one's different the way they're. Sh this one, I think, is the best. This one and this one. I wrap this one in like a stripe. Can, uh, striped paper, but yeah, this is a Christmas Eve bar. There's another one. So yeah, it's really hard for me to place an order with Lush until they do a new launch. So I'm waiting for Christmas pretty much. There's, I'm going to order the Enchanter, which I've never tried, and there's a couple others. So that's what was, here is the um, Lavender one. This is the French Kiss, and it's losing its lavender. I need, need to use this one. I'm going to put this up here. These two are from Fizz Butter. These are bubble bars that they sent me to blog for them. It's These are from last Christmas. A cranberry fig from Fizz Butter. But they're products you can't smell them from the outside, but once you open them, they smell fabulous. So they asked me if I want to do another blog for them. I just, I don't think I, here's, this one's called Candy Cane. But they're still really soft. You, I mean, you look, you can see me squishing it. So it's not a, it's not hard at all. So there's that. Okay, now here is a Turbo Bubble Bar. I think they discontinued these. I love them because they're pink. Light pink. They've got little glittery things. So let me put these back in here real quick. And we'll get on to the rest. There's probably 150 more products, if you can believe it. I'm not kidding you. So, yeah, I've got to just hurry and get these in here or this video is going to be really long. So this is ba basically for my new subscribers that haven't seen my Lush collection. I know you can go back and look at it, but it's not the same. So a lot of this I'm giving, I'm going to do a giveaway and then the rest I'm going to give to my mom. Her birthday is the day before mine. She loves taking baths and I've been giving her bubble bars and she doesn't so much like the ones that stain her tub so I have to pick through them and make sure they're not going to stain her tub so she doesn't have to wash it each time. Okay there's that. So I just have this in a uh, Billy Bonkers box for the moment. Now this one is the next insane box. This is crazy. Now these are all limited edition Christmas. This is why I need a dresser. There it is. One, two, this is when I start getting the sniffles. Excuse me, guys. It's from all the powder and everything. Three, four. These are the little houses with the little blue balls inside of them, the little white and yellow houses that came out at Christmas this year. You shake it. What are these called? It'll come to me. Please don't come to my channel and remind me because I, I know my Lush like the back of my hand. Um, give me a minute. It'll come to me. But I have four of these. These came. I ordered these last Christmas. So yeah, I got four of them. Give me a minute. It'll come to me. Here is a Superstar. Here is a Karma bubble bar. Here is a smaller comforter bubble bar. Came in a box. Here is a melting snowman. I love these. This is a new one. It's scented stronger. Oh, it smells fabulous. Like you could eat it. And then here is one, two gingerbread house. I love these. These are still really cute for Christmas. Oh my gosh, here's a Santa, um, Santa Paws. This is a different Santa than last year. It's pink and white, still the same color, smells fabulous. He's so cute. It smells like everything Christmas. It smells so sweet. And then here's two, 
up oh, lost you there, sorry. Here is two party poppers. One has a little bit of sand, a little bit of powder at the bottom. I need to get these used before next Christmas because I'm going to go nuts like I do every year. And then you guys are going to believe this. I have these are the cinders bars, the or cinder cinders bombs. They have little pop rocks on the top that pop. I have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll just pile them right here for the moment. I need to repackage everything. It's looking a little messy. Now this is Santa's sack. This is the only one that I have that isn't broken. I didn't mail them back. I just didn't want to mess with it. So here's Santa's sack. It's basically got three different parts. You can pull them out if you want to conserve it. I pretty much use the whole thing because that's so many products. So there's one. Um, here is a marzipan soap in a star shape. It smells fabulous. Oh, it smells wonderful. This is a uh, three golden rings or golden rings, but it has a blue spot. It came like that. With, I don't know why it has a blue spot on it, but it's a bubble bar, and you could still it's still soft. You could stick your thumb right through it. There's that. These are all pretty much Christmas limited edition products. Now here's the um, Candy Mountain bubble bars. Now if you ask me, I like the pink and white better. Here's the green and pink. I prefer the pink and white. But they both have the same scent. I have about 12 of these. It's crazy. Then we've got the... This is the, uh, come on Dana, you know what it is. It's, uh, oh my gosh. Anyway, Christmas, um, you guys don't need to remind me. There's no way I'll be able, be able to list all this down below. I should have done the other box first. This is the, what is it called? Oh, it'll come to me in a second. Anyway, there's five of those there. And here is two more candy bubble bars. Candy Mountain bubble bars. These are the ones in the green and pink. I wrapped them in plastic because they came unwrapped. And i that's one thing I wish Lush. I know that they've started doing that more. These are the golden, golden uh, something houses. Golden Wonders. Something like that. Anyway, and then I've got the, here is a one with the, this is cinnamon, and it has a, a cinnamon stick in it, and it came came out of it. It needs to go up to the top and get poked back in. This is a limited edition from Valentine's Day. So, yeah, I can't remember what this one's called. It will come back to me. I'll have to edit it back in. So there's that. If you guys can see down here, it's insane. Look at all this stuff. It's crazy. So yeah, I gotta keep going. I'm at 13 minutes. That's not too bad. So here's another bag. So I've got a Don Quixote. I've got mind you, this is all for my new subscribers. Here's the magic mushrooms. I wasn't real impressed with these. They didn't put off much scent. Or much color. I think I've got about five or ten of these, so I might do a giveaway. I don't know. Wrap them up better. Here's another magic mushroom. These are just not shaped right. This one's smushed. I was just not happy when they came. Anyway, here is another really cute melting magic melting snowman. This one isn't the, the stronger scented um, one. What is that called? It'll, it'll come to me after. Here's a hottie massage bar. My husband loves these. They don't really smell great, but they warm up and they, the bumps really help when your back hurts. So there's a hottie. Here is a um, liqueur. Chocolate. They say you could eat it. I tried a bite of it. It tasted awful. 
And then here is a Donkey Odie. This is a limited edition, a Donkey Ballistic. It used to be a Donkey Odie. And this is out around um, Easter. So I'm going to put these back in this bag. Only reason is I'm keeping them separate from Christmas. Then I will go on with, I still have more boxes of lettuce. So let me keep these separate. Let's see, is that all I had in there? I don't know why I can't remember what these two are. The minute I shut the computer off, I'll remember. Come on, Dana. We know you better than that. There's all my cinders. So yeah, I got on Lush and I was trying to find products that I don't already have and I think the only one was the Enchanter. And I think I found five other things so I'm going to order those and yeah. So it's kind of frustrating. I thought maybe I should wait. I placed two huge orders. Etsy is sending me some orders from, or actually they contacted me and asked me if I would blog for them. I said sure, no problem. So yeah, and these are, oh, they're not the marzipan, they are not, what are they called? Anyway, I don't want to waste time. It'll come to me later. You guys know what they are. They're brown on the bottom, white with a, a holly berry on the top. And the bubble bar. This is not necessarily a Christmas item, it's just in with my Christmas stuff. Here is the Santa sack that's coming undone. I'll have to straighten that out later. That's why I need a dresser. There's all four of my Golden Wonders house. I think that's what these are called, yeah. Golden Wonders. They're just really heavy. And then here's the um, Magic Mountains in the pink and green. I think I prefer the pink and white. We'll see what I think next year their theme is going to be candy, I'm hoping. So here's this. Okay, now we've got tons more. Let's go over this right now. These are the Magic Berry Wands and the Bubble Beards. And here's two Bubble Beards. Never tried it. Just have them here. So here's one. Smell powdery to me. There's two. I may do my whole tree in Lush this year. I thought that'd be really cool. Lush and candy. I still haven't decided. And here's the all these. There's one, two. There's some in the bathroom too. These are magic magic wand bubble bars. One, two, three, four. And there's five in here, and then I think there's about five in the bathroom. So there's five of the magic wands. So I won't take those out. And then tomorrow I'm going to do a review on my fortune cookie soaps. It's just about as crazy, or crazier. Yeah. Okay, so there's those. Here's a Shakira. Here's a Phoenix Rising. Okay, and then here is a, this is a jet. It's got the little, I can't remember what this jet one is called. This is from Christmas time. You guys don't have to remind me. Here's an Able Bath. Here's a You've Been Mango. My husband squished it. I could have killed him. He squished it with his hands. So yeah, I've never tried this one, but I know it makes your bathtub like, just like, totally soft. So, and then I've got a bunch of sex songs in here. I put them in a bag. Here's a Sicilian. None of these are expired either. Here's a Sicilian. And this is the Abel Bath in green. There's another Abel Bath in green. Oh my gosh. Here's two Weeping Frogs from um, Valentine's Day. 
The only thing I don't like about these is their lips stay in your tub. The red lips, but they they don't really have much impact, I don't think. Here's the sex bombs. I think these are beautiful. Love them. I've got a whole dish of them in my bathroom. I've got 20 or 30 more products in my bathroom I should have pulled out to review. Don't have the time. Here's another sex ball. So let's get these back in the bag and I will go on in 20 minutes. And they have to stop and do this in two parts. I've still got probably a hundred more products. Crazy. It is crazy. I think I have a hoarding problem when it comes to bath bombs. What do you guys think? Yeah? And bubble bars? It's crazy. My husband goes, what do you want for your birthday? I said, what do you think? I want blush. He's like, really? I said, yeah. He's like, are you serious? I said, yeah. Any kind of lush. I want lush. And then I got on their website and I'm thinking, what can I actually buy that I don't already have? Okay, so this is from another company. This is um, from Etsy. This is Sudsy Treats Boutique. This is a bubble. It's a squishy bubble bar. Or bub yeah, really just really soft. It's supposed to smell like cake. So that's not a lush product. So for the moment, I have these just in little wicker baskets in wrapped in plastic, so they stay fresh. So I have this box full, and this box full, and then I have more too. So let's get going through these. We're gonna cruise through these. These are Yazoo's. They're orange. They smell fabulous. They're supposed to have like an icing in between them to hold them together, but these don't. Here's one that does. This is a rose jam. It smells really good. It's see how it's stuck together. Those two were supposed to be like that too. It smells really good. Here is a knee worry paw. This is from the retro edition, retro collection. See where it has a blue dot. This smells very powdery, very very powdery. Here is a so white right here and if you break it open it's like pink on the inside it's like a Christmas product here's another this one is a it's green lush this one is a it's not an able bath this is um it'll come to me in a minute here's just another so white only in a smaller size Here's one of my favorites, Strawberry Fields Forever. It's a massage bar. This is getting whittled down. I love it. Here is the soap that I wasn't real up on. This is the Easter soap. It's green and it's called uh, Easter Egg Hunt. Um, if you guys want to see it, I will show you. This doesn't smell real good. And then here's some samples of some soap. Carmen Miranda. And this is Honey, I Wash the Kids samples they sent. Here is a carrot bath ball or a carrot wand. I have one, two, three, four of these. Here's a Shakura right there. You can still see the top of it a little bit. And then here is um, the Hippie Chick Ballistic. These are like bath salts. Here's another hippie chick ballistic from Easter. Here is a this is a tucka tucka um, massage bar, and here is a Amanda Pondo, and the little rosebud came out of it. This is a bubble bar from the retro collection. It's got a little rosebud in it. It's white, so there's that. Let me put this stuff back in it, back in the box. And then for now I'm going to undo the last box and we'll have to stop. I'll have to go over the rest of my Lush in part two. And then we'll have to do the fortune cookie soaps in probably four parts. Until my next order comes. Okay, so this one has, this one has a few fizz butters. So this one's a fizz butter in spicy cider. 
Now these come wrapped up really tight, so you kind of feel disappointed at first because you can't smell them, but they smell fabulous when you unwrap them. So that's a fizz better in spicy cider. Here's a big blue, lush. Another big blue, lush. They smell lavendery, not my favorite. Here's another big blue, lush. Um, here is a honeybee, lush. Here is a Tiny Hands Massage Bar Lush. Um, here's part of a Yazoo, the green one. Here is a the red ruby ruby red slippers. And it's turning orange because it got exposed to the sun. So this either needs to be used, thrown away, or done with done something needs to be done with it soon. And then here is a rose. Um, bubble bar that's pretty powdery. I need to use it. I'll probably use it tomorrow. It's real herby, herbally. It's got a lot of herbs in it. it. Smells flowery. Not my favorite. So yeah, there's everything there. And this one is a blue and white. And it, I think this is the old space. The old space. Um, yeah, that's what that is. That's the, the, the Space Girl. Or, I'm losing my edge, but it'll come to me. I'm not, I'll never lose my edge when it comes to Lush. Never. Never, never, never. Okay, so there's that. And I'm going to have to just cut it because I am at 26 minutes. So. Oh, I was going to show you this really quick. My mom's birthday is the day before mine, and I thought of this idea. I thought it was really cute. My husband went and bought some beer. It's a new edition beer, and I thought this would be so cute. So I stuffed the beer um, full of bath products and colored paper, and I'm going to put a lot more stuff in it. Underneath, there's going to be stuff. I've got bath bombs, bubble bars, uh, soap. I mean, it's, she loves this kind of stuff. Perfume. I've got a candle from Bath and Body Works. I don't know where I'm going to put that. I've got two Bulgari Bul Bul bath teas. I ordered a set of a set of ten of them. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be really cute. And then I'm going to wrap it in cellophane and give it to her. But I thought that box. I said, save that box. That's so cute. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. And then, as you can see in the mirror. Well, you can't. I've got more bath products behind me on the shelf that I have to go through. Um, I've got, this is all fortune cookie soaps. Bags and bags and bags and bags and bags. So, yeah. And they're on the floor. Yeah. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is this review was for my new subscribers. I have a lot of new subscribers, and I wanted them to not have to go back and look through 100 videos to find my Lush collection. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this updated Lush collection. There's more on the way, things that I don't already have. Um, I'm just going to order for my birthday, that, like Ben Channer. There's a few. I think there's like 10 products that I don't already have. Everything else I have, so... And I'm not at all bragging. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I will try and link everything that I can. Um, I don't think I, I'll link any of it. It's There's just too much. If you have any questions, I'll get back to you. You guys don't have to remind me if I forgot anything. Because believe me, it'll come back to me. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I will see you later with a couple more uploads. I've got lots of ideas of things to do. So have a great afternoon. And I will see you later. Got to go make my five-minute dinner. Thanks. Bye.